Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today we have Invictus Launch Week wrapping it up, the grand finale. As you can see on the counter, it says one day, three hours, and four minutes. Obviously, by the time you get this, it'll be a lot less, maybe closer to just one day. Uh, you can still free fly uh, anything up to May 30th. You can go to any one of the pages for cells, and you can still pick up cells on all the ships that were available. And they do have some other stuff going on here. You can still pick up the starters, $45 for a C8X Pisces with the Invictus paint, or Avenger Titan starter pack with the Invictus paint, $63 for that one. That's good until June 1st. You have merchandise available, and I believe they have a few other ships here that are on the main page, 10 of them. The A2 Hercules, the Ballista, the Caterpillar, the Corsair, the Eclipse, the Gladius, the Hurricane, the Mercury, the Nova, the Scorpius. Uh, all of those are kind of like the uh, grand finale stuff. Some of them have special upgrades available as well. Uh, so you'll have to click on those to find out what those are. Um, if you don't want to spend all the rest of your money with CIG and you may want to spend some with me, I'm going to show you guys uh, my shopping page for Texas Space Navy merch here in a moment. But let's go into a little bit other news and we'll save that for last. Jumptown 2.1. Jumptown is back with the new Jump City. So is Jumptown safe? If you're from around here, you no doubt heard about Jumptown. Local legends tells of a famous or infamous hidden drug lab on the icy moon of Yella and the bloody conflicts that raged there as local factions vied to control its production or its fate. Now, years later, more drug labs have been uncovered in various locations around the Stanton system. And this time, the firefights will be deadlier, the spoils richer, and the stakes higher than ever before. In 2019, the Star Citizen community discovered a lucrative drug lab on the surface of Crusader's moon Yella. What followed was completely unplanned and surprised everyone, including our development team. Tens of thousands of players flocked to the outpost with split motives in mind. Eager outlaws and less than scrupulous organizations rushed to acquire and sell this newfound illicit treasure trove at any cost, while more lawful groups chose to lock down the station in a bid to prevent further criminal activity. This clash resulted in a perpetual tug of war between far-flung factions and homegrown heroes over control of the outpost. You never knew what you'd find when approaching Jumptown, which only the most dedicated could locate, since it wasn't easily pinpointed on standard issue maps. These events were so profound that they ended up becoming official canon in Star Citizen's lore, a prime example of player actions shaping the future of the verse forever. Originally released in Star Citizen Alpha 316, this dynamic event inspired by the original Jumptown Wars is back with an all new improvement that will challenge you like never before. Read on for more details about what to expect and be sure to outfit your force for the impending mayhem. Let me start off before we get further into this. Of course, it's gonna be impending mayhem. The servers are trash right now. Maybe after Invictus is over with, the servers will be better. But I have my doubts since they're going right into Jumptown. <clears throat> Inside scoop. These new labs have a totally redesigned interior, reimagined as a circular floor plan that conveniently comes with fewer doors, making for better sight lines and shooting lanes. A second dispenser can also be found for more expedient drug production. On the outside, the entire operation has doubled in size with a second entrance and multiple windows and skylights to make ambushes hard to come by for those hunkered down inside as well as those attempting to breach from outside. Multiple points of contention. The sc scuff laws and scallywags of Stanton are getting wiser, rotating the locations of their automated, uh, automated drug production operations. 
Jumptown is but one of these facilities, so keep an eye on your mission manager for the up-to-date locations. Get the bag. SCU containers are bulky and conspicuous. Word around the system is that local scum have started transporting their contraband in smaller, more discreet parcels. Be sure to bring a multi-tool with tractor beam attachment. <coughs> Excuse me. So what side of the law are you on? This dynamic event can be undertaken by either lawful or unlawful players. The mission itself plays out the same regardless of which path you take with a few key differences. To take the lawful path, be sure you have a crime stat of zero and then accept the mission from the local security office marked in your contracts manager as a priority mission. The drug boxes you collect at the mission site will need to be taken to the closest LEO port or law enforcement. Uh, for example, if the mission is taking place at Jumptown, you would take your haul to Port Alisar. On the lawful path, if you successfully deliver at least one run of contraband back to LEO port, you will receive an AE UEC bonus on top of the price of the drugs you deliver. To take the unlawful path, you must have a crime stat of any level and accept the mission from Rudo. To do this, you will need to have a non-negative affinity with the mission giver. Rudo knows how valuable this intel is, so he is also asking a buy-in for the mission. On this path, all contraband must be taken to an unlawful trading post to be sold off, regardless of where the mission is taking place. The unlawful path will provide a bonus to the price of each successful delivered drug box. Which is good, because in the past the drugs weren't worth a whole ton for the unlawful side. So how do you get started? Uh, it shows you how to accept the emission here. You can fly to whatever lab is the main contention point. You can grab the contraband out of the dispenser and then take it to whatever cargo hold you want to and fly it off to its destination where you will sell it. So jump town schedule for 319. Uh, each location will run for approximately 24 hours. So we've got May 29th starting at 11 a.m. Central Time. Uh, May 30th, June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So this is running the 29th through the 5th. And then I believe we'll have Alien Week after that where Alien ships will become available for purchase. That said, let me show you guys where to go to get the new official Texas Space Navy merch. So, www.texasspacenavy.org slash what is it? Store sell uh, I think it's texasspacenavy.org slash shop and here you have uh, 107 different products you can get with different logos from the Texas Space Navy. Find one you want. We've got shirts, we've got pants, we've got coasters, we've got flags. Uh, I mean, we have all sorts of different things available um, with different logos, some new logos that I had made. We even got the pint glasses. Some of the stuff ships from overseas. Uh, if you're from overseas, you can still get some of this stuff as well as uh, it should ship fairly quickly to you. You can see some of the flags and coasters and shirts. So yeah, I'm proud of this stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it and you like it. We have mouse pads, backpacks, polos with embroidered shirts on it, stickers, iPhone cases, towels. I mean, we've got all of it. So definitely check it out. Uh, please make some purchases as it will help me. It goes a long way as to helping uh, fund my, my, my hopeful endeavor of future anyways of being a continued YouTuber. Right now, I'm still looking for a job. So it also helps put money in my pocket so I can keep a roof over my head. So all of it is appreciated. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse. Mm -hmm.